Don't tell me you shot a man in Reno just to watch him die. Who is it? It's Bucker. I'm not home. Doug, let us in. Who's that with you? Three guesses. Doug, I'm sorry about Harry. It's okay, you'll snap out of it. He doesn't know. Doug. Harry's dead. No. No. What do you mean, no? He's still in the hospital. Oh, you yeah, scared man, the hell out what of am me, I doing man! Here? I needed to talk to Penhall. So you told me Hooker was dead? Better than that, I proved it to the warden. What would you for? want to do a crazy what thing for? like that for? To get him out of jail. What for? What for? So he'd listen to me. <sighs> listen to him. I'm going to get a beer. You're just you sitting on your ass all day long. Feel sorry for everybody. Sentence. You're not doing anything about it. Is this a twist off or do I need an opener? Sort of a thing that hurts. Save that. Your negotiating tactics, Clark. You have been very straightforward with the city. I see life like a street. You're walking down it, and up ahead of you is a, is a store where you're gonna buy something. But between you and that purchase are all the rules coming up to you like some beggar, you know? Hitting you up for all your money. You feel bad, so you look away when he passes, or you cross the street. Well, Socrates can rest easy. What, what did the beggar represent again? They never got me. Yeah, I remember that after your first nightmare. Can I drive? It's your car. You sure this is what you want? Tom Hardigan. It's nice to know you, Tom Hardigan. Fabulous if it means I don't have to take your crap anymore. <laughs> I'm waiting, Hanson. I went to prison. And I thought I'd hit bottom. You married him. And you work for him. Just look at that long face. Would you, Tommy? Don't call me that. What if I called you what I used to call you? What if I said, would you, Tommy? What do you think of Hardigan, Linda? I don't. Well, you must admit that most women would notice him, don't you think? Well, I'm not most women. You don't know what it was like trying to... Trying to what? Get over you. Get over me. Who dumped who, Linda? You wanted to get married. That's right, I did. So did you. We were 19. What does anybody know about love at that age? What do you know now? What am I doing there? Take a guess. You tell me everything. Everything I can. She was the one, Doug. Oh! 
You know, I'm getting the feeling I'm being hustled. No, no, you're just out of practice. No, you never broke 175 before. Well, maybe it's the shoes. You can do it. Yeah. How can you still do that? Remember I said I'd keep my distance? Oh, no. Oh, man. What should I do? You know, after Linda left, it was like I had nothing. She was the reason I became a cop. Maybe now she's the reason to stop being one. Oh, my, you, like, you really think? Doug, I've been looking to get out, but I didn't know what for. Now that she's back in my life, I think maybe I do. I can't help it. I love her. I always did. Gavin, you're under arrest. Drop it. Drop it! How did you know I was here? Oh, you don't have to thank me. Hi, I'm Doug. My best friend. Linda. Nice to meet you. OK. Hi, Tommy. Would it sound too corny if I said it's the best thing for both of us? Yeah, it would. I want you to stay. Don't do this. Linda. You don't leave someone you love. You do if that's the best thing for them. That's what she said. That's what she meant. There's death in the chapel. <sighs> We're gonna have fireworks, free hot dogs, even Sprinkles the Clown. Sprinkles, really? There's death in the chapel. What does she mean? I don't know. A doctor? Yeah. It was long and thick in the middle, had rounded edges, looked like a hot dog. You know, I don't know how they did it, but I think they moved my navel. The Space Brothers probed your belly button? It used to be here, and now it's here. Why would they do such a thing? It's a mystery. This means something. And you gotta admit. I'm not listening. Come on, didn't you predict death in the chapel? Ah! Tom, I think I gotta sit down. Yikes. Okay, you know my secret. And I know yours. You're cops. <laughs> You're what not. Makes you... you know, there are some areas on the earth that are more receptive than others to this kind of phenomena, like like the pyramids or the Bermuda Triangle. Las Vegas, I feel things there. If this thing is your gift or whatever, why do you want to shut it out? You tell me. Why do you question being an officer? Wow, you can see that? The Space Brothers are here. Hello? Hey! We mean you no harm! Travel six light years to get a good deal on a car stereo. Believe it or not. Oh, Berlin. You're never gonna let me live this town, are you? 
Dog, you're psychic. Oh, man, leave me alone. <laughs> I looked that way once after an especially gnarly chili dog. We wish to transverse with the being called Yates. Thank you. Now! Inca Indian civilization. There is no future. What does that mean? It hasn't happened yet. And I believe that I have some say in how it happens. I'm dead. Oh, Penhall, will you stop it? Where are you going? I'm, uh, I'm gonna go put my things in order. Hey, uh, can we help you? Are you talking to me? Hanson? Good evening. <sighs> <coughs> I'm Count Chocula. You're not going to be able to wear this. You're going to have to change. What's wrong with you? I think this is what she saw you in. You don't know anybody by the name of Iris? You know Iris. They did the monster. What are you talking about? The zombies are heavy. Stop quoting that movie, man. Let it seep in. Seep? Seep. Are you going to take the detective's exam? Oh, yeah. I got a letter of recommendation from my cell block captain. Cell? Yes, it's a real ID. When's your birthday? April Don't think about it. April 4th, 1968. What's your sign? Why do you want to buy me a drink? Have a nice time, cutie. <sighs> Douglas. And I knew you'd want to go along with me on the play. And? What are you trying to tell me, Daryl? We lost? We gotta talk, partner. Especially with a couple of losers like these two. You weren't even gonna help me! You're doing fine! The background sheet. I need a late pad. I just was gonna say hello. I... What? Yeah, oh, where you're going, Perkins? What are you gonna do with it? With what? As well, and I saw you take it. Oh, you saw wrong. Get in the car. Scared yet, Tommy? No, just get in the car, all right? Tell me you're scared. All right, I'm scared. Just get in the car. Quincy! I used to come up here to smoke cigarettes until I read the Surgeon General's report. These things will kill you. <laughs> What's so funny? It's just stand between two moving cars, but you're afraid to smoke cigarettes. Calculated risk, depending entirely on one's own ability. And I happen to have a lot of ability. So do you. Yeah, well, my ability tells me that it's stupid to risk your life for nothing. When all it takes is one idiot in one car to plow the life right out of you. Is that how your father died? Yeah. How about yours? It's an accident at work. See? He risked his life and he didn't even know it. That's why I make my own choices. So that way, I guess if something happens, it's your own fault, huh? Exactly. My fate is in my hands. That's freedom. What are you trying to prove? Nothing. I'm challenging you to feel life. Well, I don't accept. Get off. Get off. Not until you say yes. All right, all right, I'll do it. Anyone can do it on their feet. Good luck, Hastings. Oh, hey, what are, hey, what are you doing? Hey! We're fun this way, you gotta trust us. Give me the key, Quincy. You feel it yet? Yes, I feel it. Ah! Hey, get out of there. Unlock her. Not yet. You do it. <laughs> Next to the last year. Come on!
Harry, I told you, you I didn't. You know what it's like to really almost die? Harry, you think it's cool to watch your friends die? She gets off on the risk. And isn't that why people become police officers? What's with them? What's with you? I'm gonna quit. Fine. Quit. But what if your problem isn't your job? What are you gonna do then? Just stay here, okay? <laughs> no way! got us, so uh, just put the gun down. You think I'm gonna trust you? I'm a police officer. Put down your weapon. Come on, shoot me! Quincy, he's gonna kill you. And then what's that gonna prove? Quincy, don't. <laughs> Thought she had a gun. I think maybe you do too. I'm sorry about putting you guys through this stuff. Hey, it wasn't your fault. I tried to... You know, it's okay. We know. Chicken with extra gravy, please. They're the only students with access to the key. What? See that? That's the gastrocinemius muscle attaches to the bone with that tendon right there. <gasps> Roast beef. When's the study lab? Tomorrow. And if Jim and Dusty are our guys, we're as good as out of here. You know, we saw what hardened animal fat looks like in your arteries yesterday. Very scary. Anyway, I think I finally got Evan to take me there himself. He kissed me today. As in smooched? Yeah, well, you know, it's no problem. I'll talk to him. He's a good guy. Hey, did you know that sugar... Good enough. Thank you very much. Sorry to drag you out of bed. No, no, it's... <clears throat> What's up? I just, um... I keep hearing weird noises in my apartment. And I thought I might feel better if I slept here. You're hearing noises in your apartment? You got scared, so you come here? Well, look, if it's a problem, I can No, just... no, it's not a problem. Come on. You all right? Sure. Good night. Night. Detective. What? Well, I would ask him, but his feet are too big. Your ears stick out. Shut up. Come on. Okay. Want to tell me what's going on? What do you mean? Well, you come to my apartment the other night. You told me that you scared of these noises. And you haven't said a word all day. Talk to me. He raped me. What? Evan Roberts. He raped me last night. If you hadn't been there, I'd... I wish you would stay at my place tonight. I'll be fine. Let me stay here. Hanson. I just don't think you should be alone. I gotta be. Judy, I, I really wish there was something I could do. I'll see you in the morning. All right. In fact, we'll probably badge you for the rest of your life until you tell us what happened that night. Did I ever tell you about Sidney Mueller? Probably. I took her up to, uh, uh, Chest... View drives, kind of like an inspiration point, you know, so that we could uh... look at the Big Dipper. I go to grab her uh, massage, so I stopped, and you know, we're talking for a little while. She starts kissing me. She says, "What's, what's, 
What's the matter? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? So I figured she changed her mind. Go to grab her... Uh, her other corsage. I figured she didn't know what the hell she want, and I took her home. Thank you, Doug, for that <clears throat> very inspiring story. He grabbed the beer. No, no. He said that uh, she grabbed the beer. No, he said that he grabbed the beer. No, no, he didn't. I'm really sorry. Thanks for coming. Captain. Can I help you, Detective? Where's Fuller? Bad clams. He left me in charge. I'm the senior officer next to the captain. You're a girl. Hanson, if you don't tell me what's going on here, you too will be a girl. Pleasure Palace. Handsome? Captain. Little humor. Very little. Crane's men picked him up on the road. If Crane is not found guilty of the charges, the damage to his personal holdings is irreparable. Four. Four. You want more. Am I wrong? No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No, you're not wrong. Oh. Ten four. <laughs> Ten four. If you two leave, I will find you and I will shoot you. Do you hear me? You're not trying to get me to do something I shouldn't be doing, are you? No. Oh, bummer. You're not going to go getting sentimental on me, are you? Don't worry, I'll be here. I hate doing this. Well, you asked me to ask him. I'm a little bit disappointed in you. I'm sorry. Accepted. Since I like you guys, and uh, we're all Americans here. It's a calculus equation. Let me see it. Looks like it's a tracking formula for an orbital ellipse. Yes, yes it does. <laughs> Did Anthony Poole leave a message here? To whom? To whom it may concern. I don't know anything about poker. Stand aside. Jeez, you've only got a pair of threes. You ever heard of bluffing? Yeah, but if you lose, we're finished. That's why they call it gambling. He's going all in. Okay, sucker, let's see what you got. This we win. Oh! <laughs> Step on the red. Break your mama's back. Now with it. Would you be there, please? Yeah. Time to Jackson Biner. Do mm. you believe the food they're serving in this place? Yeah, those are lovely noodles with a white cream sauce. Well, you know, pasta. It's good for athletes, high in carbs. We collect and nobody's suspicious. So won't the... Won't the boogie get suspicious? Yeah, won't he smell that something's weird? Would you trust you? Absolutely not. I've been looking all over for you. We've been around uh, collecting suspects. We're cops. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, right? You guys are cops? Oh, for gosh. It's kind of a bad picture. Hey, just remember, huh? he came to me. He wanted to fix the game. I'll be sure and remind the judge. Bush Gardens. I have seniority. I need it the most. You 
I was stuck in Folsom Prison. My brain's turning to chocolate pudding. Exactly. Not oh, I want to go right now. Ruffage. It's the capitalist boil. Play is international? Well, oh, uh, he's got short guys or us. It's men's apparel. There's just there's four outlets. Mm -hmm. Cut them. Oh. Want to suck the jelly out of a jelly-filled donut and let the chocolate from a peanut butter cup melt into the dough? Oh, shut up! Just shut up now because you're scared and confused. Focus! That was your stomach. Well, you made me think about it. This is inhuman. We should arrest Mr. Bean. For what? Porting Snickers bars? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm a little hungry. You've obviously been thinking about this. Would you like a Slim Jim? Hey, 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 man. Don't listen to that crap. No, no, Lance, listen. It's like this. We're all on this bus, and that's like a, a factor of X. And we're talking, and that's a factor of Y. Now, by using this, we can predict. <coughs> that was a sandwich right freaking now! A, oh, B, yeah. oh, B, and C. We're gonna get thrown off this bus! Because, you know, I've always, I've always seen life as sort of like an equilateral triangle of, like... We gotta get him a burrito. He's really losing it. Hop on in, boys. Less than use a commie, a queen, or a cop. <laughs> I, got, I got longer legs than you. No problem, son, no problem. We really like some like pickles. I'm not positive, but this could be my living hell. It's not just a drinking game, but a mental exercise as well. So while they're developing their brain cells, they're also killing them at the same time. On the game, I made it to 1,498. For a long time, I thought it was in Morocco. I was looking for a, an arcade to play ski ball. You're into ski ball? It's my life. Well, there's an arcade. It's just a couple blocks from here. Well, I can't even believe you couldn't find it. I am just drawn to it. I'm drawn there. I mean, I could hear the clack of those balls for miles. Clack. <laughs> I've never met anybody before with that same passion. Yeah, that's kazoo. It's kismet. It's kismet. Kismet. I think we ought to get back. Let's go. Uh, we'll trade in the tickets and we'll get fuzzy dice and big combs and furry animals and Are things you that like. Way? What? You have to be in control. No, I let people do what they want, to, you know. Well, I'll walk you home, then. I wouldn't want you to get lost. Well, what do you feel like doing? I'd like to make some s'mores. Do you think maybe you could find a blanket or something? A blanket? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I'll go find a blanket. I'll be right back. What are you doing? What am I doing? Hi, Sal. What's he doing? He's playing Cupid. I don't need Cupid. I need keys. It's not for you. I'm talking about going to El Salvador to find a girl you knew for five days. This country's at war there. Well, if you want to go there, you know, I'll go with you. Thanks. Oh, what? Hey, just leave it. I just got it open for you. You tried it a million times. Check their books. What books? Find her sister, family, somebody who can tell us where she is. Look, I say we rent a car first thing in the morning. 
We drive to El Triunfo, we take the chance. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Up your nose. Okay, a toast. And to forgetting. Amnesia. Head wounds. Rash. Ben Haley. Mahatma Gandhi. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. <laughs> you ever hear that? Yeah, yeah, somewhere. It's written above the entrance of the CIA building. Yeah, but I thought it was out of the Bible or something. <laughs> Who are these guys? Levanta los cinco vergüenzas. Ow. That's the one of the rental car. Give me some. What time is it? We're not going anywhere with you because you're working for the people who keep stopping us. All we can squeeze out of you is over the next hill now. I can't even see the next hill, can you? We don't even know who you are. Where are you going? Well, I'm not going to stand there like a target. Well, what are we going to do? Oh, this is good, sitting Ow. like a target. This is another fine mess you've got me into. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Laurel and Hardy, do you know them? They're these great comedians and they... You know, they scratched their head and stuff like that and made weird fakes and what show her. Oh, we're humping their stuff. I mean, they don't trust us. Another fine mess. Yeah. Another fine mess. He's big. I love my shoes. You change shoes more than anybody I've ever known. Yeah, well, I can't help it. I'm a slave to fashion. Oh. Ben? Mahatma. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Last night, I thought of... I want you. This is a job for... Judy and Harry. Harry. Judy and Harry? No, no. We're too old. Too old? Too old. What the hell's the matter with you? I just don't want to wear that thing on my head anymore. Hello! You must be the McQuaids. Maybe! Maybe not! I like the hat. I like the hair! Very full! Nice sheen! Only one thing missing! Bangs! Ow. Oi! Guess he doesn't want to miss his 17th semester of Math 1. Don't look at me like that. This didn't happen because we're old. It happened because... Just get me down! It's, it's okay about yesterday. Uh, we're, we're not, not holding any kind of grudge against you or anything like that. Like that. So... I never used one of these before. Francis, never Fran. Tom, never Ludwig. Blue Mustang, right? Right, no window. I want that, you're making me tired. Probably well, in a nightmare. We didn't get a lot of sleep. Something about Fellini, train tunnels, white worms. Or a socially maladjusted like you two. I happen to like my maladjustment. Why don't you just listen to her theory? I hope he signed up for a session. I hope he's Scottish. Did you say something about worms and tunnels? Oh, 
Sodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. They consider spies total scum. What about thieves? What are you, my mother? You've got to promise not to tell a soul. On my brother's eyes, I swear. This is my daughter, Emily. She's really beautiful. Think about it, okay? Okay. My God, she's a writer. Like, Lethal Weapon 3? Would somebody please tell me what really happened? Ah! Funny? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll be funnier in detention hall. All three of you. Come on, they didn't do nothing. 